All right, the dreaded TPMS light. So I'm gonna start the car and you see it blinking. Yep, it's flashing. Comment below, what does that even mean? I did have the TPMS sensors replaced on all four tires. The guy said they reset it and everything was gravy. It, it did go away for whatever, 13 miles, 20 miles, and then it came right back. So uh, what does the flashing mean? And then it's gonna go solid. And there it is, it went solid. So what does flashing and then going solid mean? Comment below, let me know, but uh, we're gonna try to uh, fix it. If we can't, we're gonna disable it. <laughs> All right, stay tuned. So the word on the street is for this one, it's a 2007 Toyota Tundra, uh, 4.7 liter. The reset light is underneath here. If you don't have OBD reader, I guess you can use this reset button there. Um, what do I read from tundra.org tundra on the forums? Um, just hold this button for six seconds and then turn the car on and then let it warm up for uh, three minutes or so. And then it should reset itself. If not, we have to find alternatives as far as disabling this uh, TPMS light. I'm sure those that bought aftermarket rims no longer have these features, so it'd be interesting. So let's try it right now. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi. This is what it looks like up top. So it's still blinking. I'm still holding the button down. Not doing much here, folks. Supposedly it's supposed to reset the thing, make it go away. I don't see any of that happening right now. All right, here's the uh, OBD reader I got from Amazon. It's by Autotech. It's a Maxi TPMS. It comes with the um, connector to your OBD reader. Connects here. This is a uh, works on battery. You have to charge it once in a while. Here's the port to charge the battery. With. Stuff to charge the battery with. But uh, supposedly complete TPMS functionality. Um, lifetime free software update. So let's give it a whirl. See if we can uh, reset it using the OBD reader. So I have connected to my OBD reader. I'm running it to my um, port, plug-in port for the uh, vehicle. So let's turn it on. Oh, so they have to turn the car on at least to ACC. Let's see what we got here. We got some features. So let's go to our quick mode uh, selection. We're gonna hit yes. Let's say it's a Toyota, so we're gonna say yes. Let's see, yes. It's a 2007, 2011 steel wheels. All right, so we're gonna take this car out. This is, has a wireless feature, so we're gonna to touch against the front driver's side wheel. So we're gonna screw this. So here's our new tire here. We're gonna press this button here. Good, so that's all set. Move on to the next. That's pretty readable, readable. Same kind of word, readable. So this is the back rear passenger. That's what it wants you to do. Press the Wi-Fi button. Last one. Check. So I don't have a third tire wheel, so I'm gonna skip that. We'll hit OK. I do have a spare tire, it's just that I don't have a TPMS sensor in there. So I don't know how that works. Comment below if that's going to mess me all up. See, it does a trick. Let's plug it back in. It won't let me skip this one. I'm going to program the sensor, which is option three. I'm going to say yes. So I went to relearn position again, and I went around the whole car and pressed the wireless button again. Did it all over it. So the only difference I changed was I, I selected uh, relearn by OBD. 
communicating with the vehicle, please wait. And I notice the TPMS light is gone. Right there. And there it is, folks. Just like that, we are uh, in business. So that didn't do the trick. We tried resetting the reset button down here. We tried using the OBD reader to erase it. Third option is to bypass this thing. So I'm, what I'm doing is I'm checking if this will pick up the, the TPMS flashing light. So let's see if it, if it does or it doesn't. If it doesn't, then we're just gonna snip the wire as we've seen on what I found in my research and then we'll still get the inspection done without worrying about any signals be coming off. So pro tip, uh, the TPMS monitor is on but it's not throwing off any codes. So codes found zero, monitoring two, uh, monitors eight, you're okay. So, and then we have the TPMS light on right now, but it's not throwing a code. So that's a good thing. But that tells me I can still pass the car. All I gotta do is bypass the TPMS light, basically get rid of that light. So uh, the inspector doesn't say anything. It has nothing to do with safety because Got brand new tires and other old cars that don't have TP TPMS sensors are able to pass uh, vehicle inspection in the state of Massachusetts. Third option is to bypass this thing. So we can possibly get an inspection here. So what I gather online is um, there's some kind of module hidden behind this glove box underneath there. So it looks like I'm gonna remove the glove box. So the glove box is pretty dug in here. Just gonna basically push in here, close it in. This thing here, push it in. This should drop down and we're gonna pinch and pull this uh, retractor back. That's what we're gonna do. So side here. There goes one. Now I'm gonna pinch the side of this. Go. That should drop down. Move this out of the way. If you're curious, this is uh, where the carbon filter is. Right there, if you see my other video, I show you how to change that carbon filter. So it's a simple tab, push tab, pull the carbon filter out. But that's not our goal here. Our goal is to figure out how to disconnect this. Uh, module to so take this off it's gonna be eight millimeter socket take one two and three off and then we'll see what we're working with so it's telling me I'm really head in this with the so I'm gonna take that off to be able to get this out <laughs> so for this 2007 Toyota Tundra 4.7 liter 4x4 crew cab. The TPMS is glove box. Take the panels off. It's actually you're gonna have to take the <coughs> glove box off. Kind of I showed you how to do that. And then the TPMS monitor is right here. Actually, there's TPMS around it. So the TPMS monitor is right here. So computer T pressure tire pressure monitor. Um, Maybe we need one of these, a brand new one of these. Uh, let's take a picture of it and see if we can get a new one. Otherwise, we're just gonna bypass the wire and hope for the best. All right, next thing you wanna do is take these crimpers and get this at any store that sells it. Um, just go into the electrical department and just look for these crimpers. Um, that basically, it joins two wires together. That's what it really does. So you can hold it you can through it. So by pressing this down, it'll connect the two together. So I'll put the link in the description below for the video. I found this guy that does it. I think he did a 06 Tundra, same concept. So here's the module, I actually took it off. It's just 10 millimeters holding the, this bolt back on. So it's gonna slap it up out here like so. But I just took it out just to see, um, you know, see what it looks like. We're gonna pop back in. 
and before we close everything up nice and neat we'll pop back in and check if the tpms thing uh, so anyway in the video he's saying that you want to look for this wire um that's connected to this module i'm going to pop this off just a you know simple depress and unlock so you want to look for the the yellow and blue wire it's kind of light light blue as he described it and it's always next to each other there's a couple wires that are yellow and blue when you look for the one that's um, light blue and yellow that's next to each other so you want down right there so where my index finger is my pointer finger I'm gonna, uh, splice these two together and I'm gonna do that we'll just let it hang let's check it out all right moment of truth so first time I used those it didn't have a I felt like it did, wasn't making a direct connect, so I splice a wire between the two. That's what that looks like. So I have hooked up to the, the TPMS module. It's there. Start up the car. And that should be it. One more truth. That's it, all the lights are gone, um, just, except for my seatbelt light. And so that's how I did it, just because I didn't feel like this was making a good contact. So that solved the issue. Thanks again, shout out to the, um, the video I looked out on the YouTube land there. He did it with the 2007 Toyota Tundra, I did it with 2000, 2006 Toyota Tundra, I'm doing it with 2007, and that's how you cancel that light out. So I got no more uh, TPMS light that's on right now. All right, if you like this kind of content where I help you save money by doing stuff yourself, then you came to the right channel. Again, we're almost to a thousand subscribers. Keep hitting like, keep hitting subscribe, keep sharing these videos. I appreciate you guys watching these videos. You know, it, it, just to take time out of your day to watch these videos, uh, I, I greatly appreciate it. All right, I'll see you in the next video.